Hi, this is Steve. I want to show you how easy it is to use the lockbox functionality within Dynamics GP. This will allow you to automatically create cash receipts based on information from your bank. Let's take a look at it. There's really just two things I need to do. I need to configure GP so I can look at the file from the bank and make sense of it. So I'll do that here. I go to lockbox and pull up my lockbox ID. And here I'm matching the file from my bank to the fields within GP. In this case, I'm using a multi-line format, which means I've got header information and I've got detail information. Uh, this is a header record right here. On the right-hand side, you see the data in my file. On the left-hand side, you see the fields in GP that it's going to be matched to. Uh, the header record is going to include information about the check, the check number and the check amount. It's also going to include uh, the invoice number and the apply amount for a single invoice. Now, if I go to the next record, this is a detail line. This has additional information about another invoice that I'm going to pay and, create, and includes the invoice number and the amount to be paid. So that's my basic setup file. Um, this is the file that I use for my sample. It's very basic. You can see that I've got check information and also invoice information. And what I'm going to do in my configuration is I'm going to match the customer name coming from the bank to the customer name in Dynamics GP. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. In GP, once I have the configuration set and I've got my file, all I need to do is go to the lockbox entry here. I'm going to look up my lockbox ID. I'm going to specify a batch ID. Add that batch. And then I'll run the transactions. So it's going to go out and read the file. It's going to also create transactions. And it's going to show me any errors, if there are errors in the table. And let's take a look at that. So here are the results. So you can see that I've got individual payments that are being made in the system. And we can take a look at that. We can select this one here, can drill down. And we can see the invoices that are going to be paid based on that cash receipt information. And I know I've got a few errors here, so let's scroll down here. Here's one where the, the customer wasn't accurately identified. So what I can do is I just hit, I'm going to re reset the customer ID. And here it is right here. I'm just going to set that. And it will now uh, save that record. And that's OK. So the error has been eliminated. And I think I have some other ones down here. This one has an unapplied payment. You know, I'm just going to leave that for the time being. I can always go back and reapply that payment later within Dynamics GP. So once I'm happy with the results of the lockbox integration, I can just hit Create Batch. And what it's going to do is it's going to create a batch of those transactions. You can see those right here. So this is my lockbox entry batch. Let's take a look at some of those transactions. So here's a payment transaction that was created by the lockbox process. You can see it's right within the normal screen. I can go to the apply field and we can see the invoices that were paid by those cash receipts. You can see those applied amounts here. So I can go through all my payments. Um, if I need to adjust any of these payments or I need to change them in any way, I can do that. But again, once I'm happy with the results, I can merely post that batch and then I'm done. So that's a quick example of lockbox functionality within Dynamics GP. It's relatively easy to do, it's easy to set up, and you can use this setup over and over again to automatically create transactions, cash receipt transactions within Dynamics GP. It'll really speed up your business processes. So if you've got a file from your bank that you can use for this purpose, you should really consider doing it.